Hey y'all, how's it going? Welcome to another episode of Two Worlds You Are Watching Gamer PhD. In this episode, we're going to start off by heading to the you. north. There is apparently an orc camp up this way, and it's our job to deal with it. But we have our club. I started using the club again because the fire staff seemed a little bit um just wasn't, you know, wasn't up to the task. Uh, looking for a fight? But you know, I shouldn't just give up on a new weapon that easily. I think I'd like to... I might experiment with another one. Hold on. Gotta take out these wolves. Are we safe? For the time being, yes. Gonna heal real quick. So, with the club, we're actually doing 400, you know, on the high end, somewhere between 750 and 850 damage. Um, whereas with the with this, we were probably doing 500 or 600. So that explains why the club is a bit better. I'm a little bit curious about this. If I put if I equip this. Now I have the shield, and that could be kind of cool because we might have a chance of parry. We have a lot of spirit damage we could add, so maybe I'm just going to... I'm going to try putting a ton of spirit damage on this thing. This might take a minute, folks. Just hold your horses. But it should be wicked powerful when we're done. Like on the high end, it's already in the 600 range. So if we can get that up to the 800 range, then we'll have something that's competitive with the the bludgeon weapon. However, it will it still will not be as good against skeletons. That's just the simple fact. Okay, yeah, we're already into like the... Yeah, we're in high 800s now, probably going to pass 900 on the high end. Okay, excellent. So, oh, I was I wonder if I could have actually combined those. Would that be smarter? Hold on. No, I can't. Okay, so let's see. Yeah, high 800s and on the bottom end low 600s, so I'm pretty happy with that, and it means we can rock the shield now, so we'll see how that, if that makes a difference, you know? Looks like we have some bandits up here. Stop! Hi. Put away that weapon. Oh, it's much quicker, yeah. Well, I think there was a third one that Let's ran off. See. Okay, these are kind of cool. Not quite as cool as these, though. And we need level 29 for that. Which we're 27. Yeah, I'm going to leave those behind. We're pretty close to unlocking our cool pants. Let's have a look. The long killer. That has a black and gold look, which could be kind of cool. Okay, where are you? Okay, I just can't run up the hill that way. Try to lure him down here. Actually, you know what? Maybe. Could we... Let's try a bow for a second. Okay, I can't use that... To, like, that upper armor plate. So add some piercing damage to that.
Okay, yeah, this is our arch. <laughs> I've got an arrow through the chest. Okay, look out. Yeah, this is not working. We definitely do not have enough skill to be using the bow. We're just going to have to... We'll slowly work towards that. Okay, yeah, that, that messed up our whole armor set. Okay, now we're back online. Okay, ah, how many are these are there? Okay, for some reason I'm not actually taking any healing there. Okay, now it's working. Oh, this guy is so... Okay, we're, we're leaving. I don't care. I don't care. That was dumb. Let's get out of here before we have any more issues. Rocky start to the episode, eh? I don't know, it's kind of funny. bunny rabbit and looks like we've found the war camp so I'm gonna go ahead and spawn in the golem picked up some more wolves okay so they're fairly powerful and you know this would not be a challenge if we had plenty of healing potions but we certainly do not at the moment what kind of healing is this provide? is this just magic yes Get him, Gollum, get him. Ah, oh, much better. Let's have a look.
Okay, there should be some more. I can't imagine we took them all out. I'm gonna wait for him to catch up a little bit. Oh, interesting. Some of those more some more of those dragon horses. Hmm, nice company. Did we take out the chief? I have no idea. We received the level up. What do we need to do now? I think just some additional attack strength would help. Okay, I can't put any more into earth magic. More critical hit strength would be nice, or a chance would be nice. And... Put one into sneak, why not? Okay, well, I think we were successful here. Take one of these horses. I think I'll go with the, the darker one. Or not, depending on which one. I guess I'm just getting on this one. Okay, it does not seem to be cooperating at the moment. Maybe because of the golem? Okay, this is interesting, folks. We seem to be stuck in a sort of loop. Okay, there we go. The golem was blocking us in and it thankfully disappeared. So we'll continue heading north. I don't really expect we'll find much. 
Oh, a teleporter is always helpful. interesting it seems like they I don't know how that happened it's like I was just dead all at once I'm alive yeah I don't know what the deal is with the horses in this game it's like half the time they're decent and rideable and you can actually use them the other half of the time they're not and it, there doesn't seem to be like a pattern it's just like sometimes they glitch out I, I really don't understand it very well. Have it you. Okay, they were that's interesting. Relatively easy. Next time I stop by a merchant, I really need to stock up on health potion. This heal strategy kind of works, but it's very... it's risky. Like, every three fights or so I'm gonna die if I don't really pay attention to the combat. Let's see. Okay, where are we at the moment? Okay, so we could take a right and head up to this road, or we could take a left and kind of intersect with this path that heads southward. I think I'll do that. We'll do some exploring. No. Oh, he's got some cool, cool pants and boots on. Those are going to be mine before long. Oh, if this guy gives me a break.
Get him, boy. Take that shield. Okay, back on the road. I think it's up this way. Huh. Oh, what he's up to? Just mining some rocks? Put down that pesky weapon. It says it's a bandit. Oh, scoundrels. He's just kind of mining that rock. That was weird. Let's have a look. Okay, so I think those are the same. These should be the same boots that I have. I cannot, can I? Yes, I can combine them. Okay, I'm gonna make that guy get down from there if he wants to fight. Closed. Ooh, look at that. That's what I'm talking about. Bye. Excellent. Okay, now we're starting to look like a real bad guy. Let's put back on let's put our bad guy gloves back on. There we go. Perfect. The helmet's still a little out of place, but we're... We're improving. I think I want to find, like, a nasty big axe, and that'll really... complete the, uh... the aesthetic.
make quick work of them. They did get in a few hits, but ah, I feel much better. Not the end of the world. So the roads are connected this way. Now we'll follow this southward to the fishing village. Oh, here we go. Another young weakling looking to woo my daughter? Young weakling? Watch that tongue, old man. And I don't even know your daughter. You'll stay healthy if it stays that way. The last one who came here, all agog. Theron Hlose, his name was. He left here with blue ribs and black eyes. He won't forget meeting me in a hurry. Though, I must say, you don't look like a milksop. So mayhap... You could help me out. And marry your daughter, no doubt? Nay, I jest not, stranger. I don't want that milksop hanging around my moonstruck daughter. So, go to him and tell him never to bother her again. What did you say? Ah, get lost. Until she's married, she's still my daughter. And she will not marry any milksop like Lowe's. Does she have nothing to say about the matter? Nay, not one whit. Okay, so... I guess I'm gonna do this. I don't really, like, agree with it, but... Hi, a solid thump. Where can I... F Theron Lowe's his name is. He lives here in Cloverly. I'll be here with your reward. It looks like, like, I'm going for kind of a completionist approach to this game, and that just means, you know, I'll do all the quests. Welcome to my modest shop. Okay, I want health. Oh, cool. Ooh, look at that helmet. Nice. It's not quite as good as the one we have, but, like, you know, it looks right. And that's kind of important.
I'll take that back. Okay, I forgot that they have permanent effects. Right, potions can be important. I got I have to remember that. Now if I buy this. Okay, how much does it weigh? 20. So I need to get down to 161. If I buy that, I can combine it with. I can combine it with the one that I'm currently wearing. Which will make mine stronger. Same thing with the shield. Okay, there are some good traps in this game. I should start leveling my trap setting skills. Okay, I should stop messing with the potion stuff because I haven't actually thought about it very much. Well, good day to you. I think I'll I need to start trying more with potions before I really like decide they're worthless because if they have permanent effects, that could be very valuable. Ooh, that's cool. I kinda like that. Oh, did I get the weapon? No, I didn't. It was better if you Okay, these all look pretty good. Take that, I'll take that. You can have that. I don't want that. Looking for something. Let's see how this looks. Okay, so this must be a two-handed weapon. It does kind of go with our set aesthetic pretty well. And this... This is one-handed. And I think I like this better than the one I had before. But I'll need to put some, like, magic damage on it. Okay, where's... Welcome, young one. Fancy a nice bit of fish, eh? Not really. Nay, not today. Could an old fisherman ask you for a small favor, perchance? That depends on the favor. The big shoal of fish that comes every year is due in our fishing grounds. But Virgil and his pirate crew are out there. So what can I do about it? You, you could tell him a story of a bullion ship on its way to Ashos by way of the Western Passage. He's so greedy he'll leave like a shot. Why do you think he will believe me then? He will. He's always looking for information from strangers. Pretends to be a traitor, he does. The pirate. Mm, he thinks you'll find him and his crew at Stickle Bay Beach. I <laughs> uh, farewell then. Okay, I can do.
Welcome, Master. Are you Terran Hlos? I am he. I have a message for you. Leave the village, never to return. Forget about Ayas Morato's daughter. So Ayas does not even give me time to pack my belongings. A beating was not enough. And now he sends a messenger to make sure I go. So, you were told to leave already? Why did you stay then? I cannot leave Maya. I love her. And she loves me. She, she told me she would kill herself if I leave. So I decided to stay and fight for our love. Fight? <laughs> if I may be so bold, your muscles are as peas on the pod. I, I have... I have no other option. She... she is my life. To leave her would be worse than any beating, even death itself. You would do that for us? I, I would try. I am deeply indebted to you. Unfortunately, Maya's mother has, has locked her in her room. But if you speak with the good dame, it may help. The mother, hmm? We shall see then. He thinks I am no warrior. And in that he is right. Love is of no great import in his eyes. May the gods smile on you. Okay. So I guess we'll help this guy out. All right, I'm going to wrap this one up here, y'all. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next episode.